<laughs> good morning it is Thursday morning our night last night was really nice we both slept really well and so we're up and I mobile ordered some breakfast from Captain Cook's got us a couple of uh, breakfast burritos so I'll pull these out here oh no I'll pull it out and I'll show it to you. It's like the top just came off, but I'll show it to you. Um, super fun to be able to mobile order and just bring it up to the room. It was really convenient. We're not very far from the lobby. So that was really nice. So I'll show you the breakfast. Okay. Here's breakfast from Captain Cook's. Um, the breakfast burrito. It said I had, I think, bacon and cheese and egg, of course. Came with some uh, potatoes. A little bit of like pico de gallo, some sour cream. I grabbed some hot sauce and some ketchup. So, see what this looks like. Yeah, looks pretty good. Let you know after I taste it. <laughs> Dan is watching his sports balls over there. So, um, <laughs> got done with breakfast. I'll show you the inside of this burrito. Um, it's pretty good. Mine wasn't very hot though. Was yours hot? No. It was like kind of like lukewarm, but yeah. the flavor was good. Eggs, cheese, bacon. Um, got some hot sauce, which I'll obviously adds some flavor. Potatoes were good. And um, yeah, so pretty basic, but filling. Filling. Yeah, I don't even think I'll eat all of that. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, so just kind of chilling, finishing up our coffees. And then we're going to head to Epcot at some point. Yeah. So, exciting. Oh, did I mention that we got a, um... <laughs> we got a uh, boarding pass for Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. We've never been on it before. It's a new ride. Um, and so we were at 7 a.m. ready to go. We got our uh, atomic clock going and we got the, <laughs> we got the, um... The boarding group um but it says when we first got it it was not uh the callback time wasn't until like 4 40 p.m so not sure if that'll shift throughout the day um it probably it will but we just don't know how much um so we'll keep an eye on that so that kind of pushes our day back a little bit later um so that's why we're just kind of chilling right now but we'll uh let you know what we do next <laughs> um, um, uh, okay we're on our way to to Epcot. The what does it stand for? The experimental, <laughs> experimental. prototype community community of, of tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, Wasn't ready for that. <laughs> um, so it's nice at the Polynesian. They have this little path um, that we are currently on that takes you over to the Ticket and Transportation Center, where we can get on a monorail to go directly to Epcot. There is an, uh, a monorail station at the Polynesian, but if we were going to do that, we would have to go, take it all the way around and then transfer and then go. So this definitely is a quicker option. Yeah. And it's a short little walk. We're actually yeah. already here, <laughs> like while we're talking. So um, yeah, so we're going to get on a monorail and go over to Epcot. And our, as we suspected, our Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, return time uh, moved quite a bit forward. Last time I looked, it, it was at 2.40, and originally was at 4.40. So it's moving closer. I'm anticipating between 2 and 2.10. Yeah, and it's currently about, I think 11.15 or so. And so we'll go in and just don't have any like specific plans other than enjoying some of the uh, food and wine because it is the food and wine Epcot yeah. Food and International Food and Wine Festival right now too. Ooh. So we're gonna get in line here at the monorail. We'll get, I'll show you what that looks like. Some trams. So this is also where people who drive, where I don't know where the parking lots are exactly. Oh right. So people park here, there it is, way out that way. Oh yeah. To go to the Magic Kingdom. Okay, so I can't, <laughs> got yelled at. I, I knew I wasn't supposed to film through the security, but she was very on top of it. Um, <laughs> there's a monorail to the Magic Kingdom. 
Let's do this. And there's a sign for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party, which there was a sign out there that there's a party tonight, which means that the park will close at 6 p.m. But we aren't going there today. We're going over here to the Epcot monorail. This is uh, different for us because we have had a tradition for our last several trips of starting at Animal Kingdom yeah, as our first park. <laughs> That's what tradition is. <laughs> You're disappointed in that. It just didn't work out. <laughs> so we're going to Epcot. Oh, yeah. next is that next to me. <laughs> Name didn't match. <laughs> I'm gonna get, I think they call that one, I don't know if it's monorail lime or monorail green. Green, I feel like I hear people call it lime green. Lime? Green. Lime green? <laughs> I don't know. Here it comes. I love that they wave. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Everybody gets off, right? It's our first glimpse of the ball. Cut ball. takes you around in a circle and you can see we'll be able to see down in the middle where they're doing a lot of construction currently and see some of the booths for the food and wine festival already there's that one right back there fry basket and I saw a couple others so there's all this construction happening right down in here throughout here they're building a Moana Journey of Water attraction. Don't know when it'll be done. It's a bunch of piles of dirt right now. <laughs> but you can kind of see a little bit of the rock work and stuff going on um, with the scaffolding and stuff right in there. The world's most magical celebration that's been going on for like 15 months. <laughs> I was gonna say 15 years. Uh, it started last October, so it's really been like a year-ish. What are we gonna do, babe? Um, I say, what if we just uh, moseyed around the World Showcase? Sure. All What's the, happening right now? The food, at Epcot Food and Wine Festival. Food and Wine Festival. Do you hear that? <laughs> And we never really spend a lot of time just exploring the uh, pavilions, so maybe we can just do that because a lot of the rides have pretty long wait times right yeah, now. Yeah, it seems like everybody's riding right maybe right before lunch. Yeah. And it could rain. So yeah. Could rain. The question, the next question is, do we go clockwise or counterclockwise? I like counterclockwise. Okay. All right. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> 
So this is the uh, Imagination Pavilion. They have a couple, well, it's the F Journey into Imagination with Figment Ride. And then over here is like a theater where they have like the Disney shorts and stuff. And it works. Yeah, in there. They're super cute, by the way. Yeah, they're fun. What's that tower over there? That's the top of the um, land pavilion. Oh, right on. So we are making our way around the, what they call, uh, Walcott. <laughs> Which is hilarious to me because I, I grew up in a house on a street called Walcott. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> so anyways, so there's all these walls. And you have to go all the way around, all that construction that's in the middle to get to the World Showcase part of the park. Okay. <laughs> we are going into Appleseed Orchard, which is back in the Canada pavilion here. It's so pretty back here. Yeah, look at back here. Victoria Gardens. <laughs> Canadian squirrels. Canadian rock. <laughs> There's also a um, really good uh, signature dining restaurant here called La Cellier. Oh, yeah, first signature I ever went to. I remember those little fake trees up there. <laughs> Yeah. They're real. <laughs> it's weird looking. So that steakhouse is here. Yeah, it's really good. Small and tight inside. Yeah. Uh, really good steaks. Sides are heavy and greasy. <laughs> Not greasy, but greasy. It's nice AC in here. So I guess they aren't showing the little. Um, normally they have that Canada Far and Wide show uh, right. that's in here, but. They have it all done up for the apple seed orchard. Feels good. <laughs> so they've got all the food up here. I think we get in line over here. So we went into apple seed orchard, but <laughs> so yeah, it's just like they have like a cider flight, beer flight, and like an apple crumble. Um, None of it really sounded like what we're looking for right now, so. It's too early for beers for me. Yeah. So we'll make our way to around to the next one. See what we've got. But this is a really pretty, really pretty pavilion. Oh, I like the totem pole out here. Is that not a hard thing? I don't think so. Oh, I didn't see that. Is your name in here? No. Be. Tale of the Whale. <laughs> it's probably whatever that is. Okay, we've stopped at the Ireland booth and got the Irish Bailey's something shake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, this is our first food and wine festival item. I'm very excited. Everyone always says it's so good when I've seen reviews of it. Yeah, so this is just the Guinness Bailey's Coffee Shake. It's got little chocolate curls on there. Are you ready little to try bunny, it? Little bunny poo. <laughs> it smells of chocolate. It's in a cute little cup. Mm. Oh my god. It's pretty heavy on the belly, so it's nice. <laughs> I thought it was going to be thicker. It's not. It's not? It's like that perfect, super cold, a little bit of iciness to it, but more still fluid. Nice. And the chocolate's amazing. Sorry. That's okay. I like the little cup. It says Ireland on it. It's plastic, but you know. Mm. <laughs> It's freaking good. <laughs> That's really good. What's good about it, baby? It's creamy, it's icy, but it's not like 
It's not know. like it's not like soft serve. It's not. It's it's no. liquidy. Yeah. Which is perfect. Yeah. And little, yeah, and then the little chocolates give it a little crunch. The Some Baileys. You can really taste the Baileys. Yeah, that's good. Highly recommend. Mm. Peace out. Mmm, that was so good. That was really good. We're like, we should have got two. <laughs> yeah, that's <was> good. <laughs> so this is like the um, United Kingdom portion of the World Showcase. It's just like, you know. We've got a restaurant, Rose and Crown. This Yorkshire County like fish shop oh has got like the best fish and chips ever. Ooh, we might have to get some. Yeah. So yeah, we just walked through. It's just uh, gift shops. They're pretty, you know, they're unique stuff though. You wouldn't find anywhere else around Disney World other than in those yeah. gift shops. Swords. Look at who we have here. We've got Mary Poppins out meeting and greeting. But cute little garden there has sometimes there's a, yeah, labyrinth bands play up there occasionally. Pianist, I think. Isn't it like usually like a Who cover band? Yeah, well I thought it was like the like Beatles or something, wasn't it? Oh. it does both actually. Yeah. Lordly London, featuring bath products and fragrances. You, your favorite. Yeah, it's one Dan of my favorites. Dan loves fragrances. Oh yeah. <laughs> What's this? The life cycle of butterflies. Egg. Bubble butterfly egg, which are fixed to a plant's leaf or stem. Poopa. <laughs> it's a poopa. <laughs> yeah, what are we, 12? Let's <laughs> protect your poopa. Okay. We are crossing the bridge to head over to France, which is this area over here. Oh. It's kind of like in real life. Right? You cross the, what is that body of water you cross from the United Kingdom to yeah, thanks, France? Yeah. <laughs> spot all day long. The channel? Something channel? English channel? Yeah, I don't know. Sure. Anyways. Say that. <laughs> so you cross the bridge and you get over to France. And over here is where you can exit the park on the back side of the park and take the um, Skyliner to different places and also you can get to um, Hollywood Studios over that way right yeah. can't, you, can't you walk to boardwalk as well yeah boardwalk two separate paths. yeah the swan and dolphin there's lots of different places you can go that way We ordered our food. I'm a French lady girl. <laughs> she, that's nice, yeah. I think that I heard that's that they're starting back. to bring back the international program that they have here. So the folks that... I really made it special. Yeah. Like internships. But they get paid, I think, right? Yeah. They better. Yeah. But here's the cute little um, France booth here. Over here you can see that there's the real Eiffel Tower. <laughs> yeah, that's the real one. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cute. Ratatouille's back over that way. They have a couple of restaurants here, Chef de France and Monsieur Paul. Yeah, I'm going to describe it here. So this is our stuff we got from the France food. So this is the, oh gosh. <laughs> well, I'll just, I'll, yeah. Parmentier de Boeuf Rosé au Cabernet. So it's braised short ribs in Cabernet with mashed potatoes. And then we got to go with it, of course, some red wine. And this is just a Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon blend from Bordeaux. Nice and dark. Yeah. <laughs> I love the little cups, they're so cute. It looks like it's cold. It has got a chill to it. Yeah, which is that's fine because it's so hot out. It'd probably get yeah. hot so yeah, fast. That's fine. Cool. Yeah. Alrighty. Boof. <laughs> we got some mashed potatoes here. Thank you for it. 
It kind of looks like a shepherd's pie. Yeah, it smells like it too. But it's beef, not yeah. corned beef. I'd say no. Did you ask for that? No, I asked for it. Wonderful flavor. Creamy mashed potatoes. With a nice red wine reduction. Mm. You're gonna love that. <laughs> Awesome. That's amazing. I always have to have a sip of wine after. <laughs> it's a good mix. Yeah, it is. All right. Yeah. Highly recommend. Cheers. Okay, we got a couple of the slushes from the Le Vent de Champ de France. <laughs> it's right over here. This, while he drinks it, takes a sip of that, I'll scroll in here and show you. It's this booth right here. They've got delicious, frosty, alcoholic beverages. Is it good? Yeah, I mean, it, I love it. It tastes like baby aspirin, chewable baby aspirin, <laughs> which I love as a kid. Mm. So that's the Grand Marnier slush. And then we got the Citron, citrus, lemon, vodka one. I'll, I'll take a sip of here. Day. Yeah, it's really humid today. It's not like hot. The sun comes out once in a while and kind of heats it up real quick. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we love these. Really refreshing. Good taste. I mean, they're not like super strong in alcohol or anything, but yeah. I haven't tasted this one yet, but yeah. I think we have before. This is the Morocco Pavilion. It's really pretty. They've got a restaurant called the Tangerine Cafe that also participates in the food and wine festival. We just got done walking through the Japan Pavilion, which is right back over here. Gift shops, they've got a couple of restaurants up here. We've never been, Teppanito, which is like a hibachi style, and then Tokyo Dining, which is more fancy sushi stuff. And then um, they have a third one that just opened. I'm not exactly sure where it is. Well, it's not open right now, but it's Takumite. Um, which is real fancy. Oh, it's not open right I don't now. think it opened yet. And then they have this cool building here where occasionally they have the um, drummers. What are they called? Ta I don't know what kind of the drummers. 
can't think of what they're called right now, um, come out and do their little performance. Up here is the quick service Katsura Grill. We're going up there? Yeah. And go check this out. It's really pretty. So we found this little oasis over here. We're surrounded by this like incredible bamboo. Kind of cool. Katsura Grill. Katsura Grill. It's really pretty. Katsura Grill, we've never been, but it's a quick service. It's right over here. Quick service Japanese. I think they have like maybe some sushi and I don't know what else, some bowls of some sort. Stir fries or something. But we've never eaten there. No, but I want to. <laughs> Just to sit here again. Can kinda feel a little bit of a breeze. We're wondering if it's gonna rain. It did call for a little bit of rain this afternoon, as it does every afternoon in Florida. I feel like the humidity is less right here. Yeah. It's weird. Is that what bamboo does to break up humidity? <laughs> Still waiting for our um, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, boarding group to open up and just kind of discussing whether or not it will be even worth going over to Animal Kingdom and. Probably not. That probably won't happen today because um, we just won't have enough time because we have a nice dinner for tonight yeah. and we don't want to feel rushed. We want to get back to the room and... We're riding a brand new ride. Freshen up. Yeah, we're going to ride a brand new ride. We want to take our time. The queue should be pretty cool. And yeah, new stuff to see. New stuff to see and experience. So pretty excited for that. Um, we're just slowly making our way around the World Showcase. We may or may not eat anything else. Um, you know, I feel like I could eat one more thing, but Dan's not really feeling it, so we'll see. I mean, I could. I just don't know what the ride's going to be like, so yeah. I don't want to be at all Like, stuffed. nauseous. Yeah, yeah, or stuffed. Yeah, I get that. So, what I'll time is it right now? 1.38. 1.38, and it says our callback time will be like 2.53, so just kind of chilling.